I thought there was one thing that did appeal to Meghan Markle about her return back here to the United Kingdom, a place seemingly that she doesn't have really too much time for. And of course, you know, doesn't seemingly want to return back. We kind of know the reasons why. Well, also, what we've learned is, of course, this particular return and particular request could have become incredibly useful, allegedly, to the former cable TV actress Meghan Markle, as ever. Let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And as ever, nice to have your company. Thank you for your very funny and warm comments about the recent video we posted uh, regarding the sausage roll wars over here in the United Kingdom in London. You know, incredible, isn't it, to think that a brand, a company, something like that, could create so many problems. I'll let you know how that develops uh, when it goes to court, if it goes to court next month. It's going to be fascinating stuff, though, isn't it, you know? Another fascinating aspect of of course of British life is really what people want from certain aspects from it. We kind of can guess, can we not, that Meghan Markle, who was a completely unknown actress, you know, really totally unknown over here in the United Kingdom. And as I said, you know, I met her very briefly when she was on the promotional trail for Suits, which was shown on a very little watched channel called UK TV. And they were kind of desperate to get people to go in for the junket, you know, but I'd never actually seen Sue. So, and I'm not being negative, you know, it wasn't one of those things that was that well known, you know, to many people over here. But of course, fast forward a few years, marrying into the most famous family in the world, walked down the aisle by the future King of England, because that's what you requested when you decided your own father wouldn't, wasn't good enough, or indeed was too ill to attend, whichever way you want to look at it. And then of course, dumping the future King halfway down the aisle because you wanted to be an independent woman. Remember all of those things? Well, apparently, you see, Meghan was kind of warming to the idea of a possible return back to the United Kingdom. But what she truly was looking for was this. And as ever, let me explain. See, the bottom line with Meghan was, obviously, she kind of saw there was, and shall I say, her advisors, again, allegedly would have seen a potentially great move, a picture. Now, you see, the picture really would have been great if it could have had Meghan, the King, and his youngest son. Maybe even a group picture, if that were possible, with Meghan, <laughs> his youngest son, and of course, Prince William and the Princess of Wales. I've not quite seen that picture though, somehow, are you? But the bottom line was, of course, that couldn't necessarily be agreed. After all, when you consider there would be pictures, but no doubt just of William and Harry with the King, you know, the King and his two sons. I'm not necessarily sure even if Catherine would be invited into that picture, but perhaps in the longer thing, uh, maybe so, because she will become one day our future queen. But according to that very good source, and as I say, there are excellent sources, it appears that Meghan, well, unless that was something of a guarantee, then, you know, that would be, wouldn't it, the icing on the cake, a brand new up-to-date picture with the King of England, the Commonwealth, and more importantly, a very useful commodity, some might say, moving forward with your initial brand, a welcoming back, if you like. Now, even Prince Harry could not be assured that this might be the case moving forward. And obviously, you know, when you ask someone like Meghan, who's networked your way up to the top, you need to be assured that what you're looking for, hoping to achieve, can be the end result. Because after all, it's a very big waste of a long trip to be sat on the sidelines, not in the good seats at the coronation, and not to come away with the end result, which according to some, was an updated picture, as I say, with our brand new king, preferably even in Westminster Abbey. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.